Good morning, students. In the last class, we have understood about flower. A flower will have four parts in it: sepals, petals, stamens, and pistil. These are the four parts. Of the flowers, sepals are the outermost part. Outermost part. They are prominent in. Prominent are very important during bud stage. Petals are the most. easily recognizable part and prominent in prominent in open are fully blossomed flower they attract insects birds etc they help in reproduction stamens they are the long structures that contain two parts filament and anther okay filament is the lengthy part anther is the top wedge shaped part okay pistil it is the innermost part and pistil contains what Three parts: ovary, stail, and stigma. Ovary, stail, and stigma. Ovary is the bottom part, which is swollen structure, and stail is the middle part, which is a tube-like structure, and stigma is top part, which is a sticky, wire-shaped structure. and stigma receives the pollen these are the four parts of the flower we have learned that in grass plants the number of sepals and petals stamens and pistil will be generally 3 are its multiples three are its multiples in non grass plants like gram plants bunny yen amaranth etc the floral parts I mean the sepals petals etc they will be four or eight or 12 like four are its multiples Are five, are ten, are fifteen. Five are its multiples, right? And in some plants, the sepals are separate. Separate means they are not joined with one to each other. In some plants, sepals are fused, means joined together. Same thing. petals in some plants they are separate in some plants they are fused in some plants sepals may be fused but petals may be joined example hibiscus in hibiscus what we have learned the sepals are separate in fused but the petals are joined right mostly in most of the plants the flower will have all four parts in it in some plants the flower may be not having either stamens or pistil so what are the terms that are given to the flower which is having all four parts and what is the term that is given to the flower which is lacking one part 
the flower which is having all four parts is known as complete flower the complete flower all four parts present in incomplete flower in incomplete flower either stamens are pistil either stamens are pistil is absent so any one part remaining two parts are present so totally three parts are present in some flowers the number of sepals and petals is same in some other flowers the number of sepals and petals is different the number of ovules in the ovary of different types of plants is different but it is same in same type of plants for example if you take one mango plant another mango plant the number of ovules in their ovaries is same but if you take the number of ovules in mango plant and the number of ovules in guava plant they are not same they are different right so with this this chapter is completed let us discuss the key words of this chapter right there are many keywords that are given first one is climbers climbers already we have discussed about it what are climbers climbers are the plants with weak stems and that will grow erect by taking the support of the neighboring structures in a climbing manner these are called climbers the plants with weak stems we generally climb up by taking the support of neighboring structures examples bitter gourd beans jasmine etc and conduct what is conduct what is climber plants with weak stems that climb up or grow climb up or grow by the support of by the support of neighboring neighboring structures right and conduct what is conduct conduct means not your conduct it is the verb form of conduct the act of transport the act or action of a transport the act of transport stem conducts water minerals and food next creepers what are creepers plants with weak stems that spread on the ground and generally bear large fruits creepers plants with weak stems that generally yet generally spread on the ground spread on the ground right next fibrous roots fibrous roots what are fibrous roots the thin fiber like large number of roots 
present in the grass plants thin fibers like large number of roots present in grass plants right next herbs what are herbs the small erect plants with the tender green stems that bear small number of branches and leaves herbs what are herbs the small erect plants with the tender green stems small erect plants with tender green stems green stems that generally bear small number of branches and leaves that generally bear small number of branches and leaves here are the herbs next lamina what is lamina the broad green colored sheet like portion of the leaf present attached to the petiole lamina it is the broad sheet like sheet like green colored green colored portion of the leaf portion of the leaf right this lamina lateral roots lateral roots side roots that are attached to the tap root the side roots that are attached attached to the tap roots tap root are known as lateral roots next midrib a thick vein in the middle of the leaf mid rib the thick vein thick vein in the middle of the leaf the thick vein in the middle of the leaf is known as mid rib and ovule ovules are present in ovary which appear like bead like structures the small bead like structures in the ovary are known as ovules ovule the small bead like bead like structure in ovary is known as ovule parallel venation the arrangement of veins parallel to each other is known as parallel venation parallel venation parallel venation arrangement of veins on both sides of midrib 
parallel to each other is known as parallel venation petal what is petal the bright colored large outer part of the flower petal bright colored large outer part of flower is known as petal petiole the stalk like structure that holds the lamina of the leaf petiole the stalk like structure that holds the lamina of leaf is known as petiole photosynthesis the process of preparation of food by plant leaves in the presence of sunlight and green colored substance using carbon dioxide and water is known as photosynthesis what is photosynthesis photosynthesis it is the process of process of synthesis of food by plant leaves in the presence of sunlight and green colored substance using carbon dioxide and water it is known as photosynthesis next pistil the innermost part of the flower pistil it is the female part female reproductive part reproductive part of flower it is the innermost innermost part of flower the pistil is the innermost part of the flower it is the female reproductive part of the flower next reticulate venation what is reticulate venation reticulate venation the arrangement of veins in a net like manner on both sides of midrib arrangement of veins in a net like manner on both sides of midrib is known as reticulate venation sepal the outermost green colored part of a flower sepal outermost green colored in color part of a flower is known as the sepal shrub the small plants with hard stems and have branches arising near from their base of the stem shrubs small plants 
with hard stems having branches arising near from the base of their stems known as shrubs stamen what is stamen the male part of flower present inside of the petals stamen the male part of flower present inside of petals is known as stamen tap root what is tap root the main root in tap root system tap root the main root in tap root system that contain several side roots attached to it that contain several side roots attached to it next transpiration the loss of water by the plant leaves in the form of water vapor transpiration the loss of water in the form of water vapor through plant leaves is you know, a transpiration trees the large plants with strong and woody stems are generally have branches on the top trees large plants with strong and woody stems that have branches on their top next veins the lines present in the leaf lamina are called veins veins lines in leaf lamina with this all keywords of this chapter are completed and try to write the answers of exercises and ever warm this is your homework okay right with this seventh chapter is completed i'll post the notes tomorrow